Hello, second year, I will take attendance, yes? Okay, Costanza, Catalina, Agustín, Luana, Lucas, Lucila del Pilar, Pilar, siempre te digo, Sabrina, Agustín, Pilar Sosa, Renata, yes, Gali, Santi, yes, okay? So pay attention now, ¿me falta alguien acá? Yes, ta, 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 Luca. Renata Marcili. Yes. Marcili. Otro nombre antes, Renata Costanza, Catalina, Agustín, Luana, Lucas, Lucila, Sabrina, Agustín, Pilar y Renata Marcili. Ahí está. Ay, chicos, ¿por qué no me hacían acordar? Esto es nombre fatales. Ok, well, do you remember the time? Yes, bye bye unit, bye bye, yes, bye bye unit. Yes, let's go. Yes, bye bye unit two. Hello unit three. Yes, ok. So I tell you how we are going to organize today. <clears throat> yes, I will show you the photo pizarra. Yes, okay. So you will have. Uh, esto no borro porque lo voy a usar, eh. Bueno, lo borro y después lo escribo de vuelta. Yes, para que lo vayan siguiendo. Yes. Hacen el croquis de the time. Ok, croquis. <coughs> Wednesday, welcome to Unit 3. We are going to revise the time. Present simple, yes, no questions, WA questions. Um, then we are going to emphasize todas las horas, yes. The time, 3 minutes past, 4 minutes to, yes, ok. Um, yes, no question, then, ojo. Pongo siempre esto, páginas realizadas en clase con video clase. Don't sit in your video class, en tu video clase no te sientes y estés ahí sentado. No, no. with your books, with your classbook, porque eso es para hacer a la par de la video clase. No digo, no, esto es tarea también. This is not homework. This is homework, ¿ok? Vamos a abreviar W-H-W, -E -W, yes, que es la forma correcta de abreviar homework, yes, ¿ok? Ya la otra ya, <coughs> no importa, sí, porque es para los más chiquititos. Yes, homework. Yes, Héctor Winston. Yes, ok. <coughs> so let's go very quickly. Una cosa, eh, I'm recording the classes in the morning. Yes, so up to now, yes, there are only two videos in the homework. I know you have time until 7 in the afternoon, 7 p.m. Yes, but organize your time because sometimes there are in the afternoon, there are some rush hour, yes, or a pico, that the connectivity is awful. Yes, so pay attention, organize your time. <coughs> Don't leave, sorry. Don't leave everything for the last uh, moment. Yes, okay. Is it clear? Porque si dejas todo, después que colapsas, te pones mal. Yes. No llegan las cosas que tienen que llegar, ¿sí? No te salen, ¿sí? Entonces, todo ese tema a tener en cuenta. ¿Yes? ¿Yes, teacher? Ok. <coughs> well, do you remember the time? Yes. Y ojo, poné por favor eh, tu... Eh, cuando grabas el vídeo, ¿yes? Que no sea tan, de tanta calidad el vídeo, tal vez porque después te pesa mucho y te da vuelta la ruedita para subir, ¿sí? Entonces, de la calidad del video, fíjate cómo configuras, ¿sí? Para que no, no te pese tanto y no tengas problemas para subirlo, ¿está? Consejo. Otro consejo, lo de las rush hours, que la connectivity por ahí es según los horarios. Todo el mundo está usando el Zoom, todo el mundo usa Internet, Classrooms y eso, entonces ya sabe que está colapsando. What's the time and what time is it? Uh, if you didn't know the time, yes, si no sabían o si tenías problemas con alguno, ahora te viene la parte que vas a revisarlo. Yes, ok. Teníamos siempre <coughs> las que habíamos aprendido siempre los otros años, que empezamos a aprender por o'clock, quarter past, quarter two y half past. Yes, de eso no, habría, no había problema 
porque teníamos aquí... Um, O'clock, yes, quarter past, yes, okay, half past, half, no half, eh, half past, yes, and quarter past, quarter two, perdón, okay, teníamos o'clock, repetition, quarter past, Half past and quarter two. Yes, ok. En punto y cuarto, menos cuarto y media. Y después tenemos todos los otros, que ya sabes que a partir de aquí hasta aquí, todo esto es past. Yes o no? Yes, ok. Five past, ten past, quarter past, que ya lo sabes, twenty past. 25 past, half past, ¿está? Y después vas a tener, <coughs> ¿cuántos minutos faltan para que sea, por ejemplo, la una? Y a ver, si acá eran y media, ¿cuántos minutos faltan? Menos 25, acá faltan 25, acá faltan 20, Acá faltan 15, por eso es menos cuarto, el cuarto, ¿yes? ¿Ok? Um, acá faltan 10, acá faltan 5. ¿Yes o no? ¿Yes? ¿Ok? <coughs> Entonces, 5 pass, 10 pass, quarter pass, 20 pass, 25 pass, Half past. Todo esto es past. ¿Ok? ¿Es clear? ¿Yes? Vamos a lo otro. Half past. ¿Cuántos minutos, minutes, falta para la una? 25. Siempre que esté acá van a faltar 25. 20. Quarter 2. 10, cuando están el 10, faltan 10. Acá que, what's the time? Acá faltan 5. It's 5. Y ahí tenés que decidir si es true o si es past. Si está a partir de esta hora, va a ser true. ¿Está? ¿Y yes eso no? Y todo esto va a ser past. ¿Y yes eso no? Yes. All right. Well done. Ok. So we have. What's the time? Vamos a practicar con todos. Tres menos vamos a hacer. Dale. 25, 2, 3. Come on. Again. Yes. After the sound, después del sonido, te toca repetir a vos, ¿eh? O prepararte mismo. Ya tienen el ritmo que tengo yo siempre, ¿ok? Ok. Ready, steady, go. What's the time? Come on. What's the time? It's 20 to 3. What's the time? It's quarter to three. What's the time? It's ten to three. What's the time? It's five to three. Okay? Yes? Practicamos acá. What time is it? Ready, steady, go. What time is it? It's five. Pass. Vamos a hacer doce y cuarto. Doce, dale. Doce y cinco, dale. What's the time? It's ten. Past 12. What's the time? It's quarter past 12. What's the time? It's 20 past 12. What's the time? It's 25 past 12. What's the time? It's 12, half past 12. Ok, entonces cualquier hora que vos quieras hacer. Acordate siempre que en el 1 va a ser y 5, que en el 2 va a ser y 10, que en el, acá va a ser y cuarto, que en el 4 va a ser y 20. Por lo menos hasta que te sepas, estudiarte de memoria, pero después lo vas a mirar y vas a saber el horario. ¿Yes? ¿Ok? Good. For example, watch the time. Now it's 5 to 12. A las 5 to 12 me encuentro grabando este curso. ¿Yes? ¿Ok? Good. Para que te llegue a tu casa en tiempo y forma, acordate que la teacher está grabando en todos los horarios. ¿Sí? Mañana, a la tarde. Muy bien. Entonces... El alumno también en casa hace el esfuerzo por hacer todas las cositas, disfrutar las clases, ¿sí?
cuéntenme que estuve preguntando what how how are you going on with the classes cómo te la estás arreglando sí te va bien ya me contestaron algunos yes teacher everything okay I understand everything entonces mándenme ese feedback porque escribo I write the message and cri 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 yes okay bueno uh, entonces siempre acá si va a ser si vas vamos a jugar con el 5 5 y 5, ok, 5 past 5, 10 past 5, quarter past 5, 20 past 5, half past 5, ahora vamos a hacer todo, pero no va a ser la 5 menos 20, va a ser la 6 menos 20, porque van a faltar 25 minutos, 20 minutos para las 6, para la hora siguiente, yes, ok, porque por eso es menos, porque faltan tantos minutos para que sea la siguiente hora, ¿está? Toda esta explicación para aquellos que siempre tienen problemas y no entienden nada. A mí comprarme el relojito ese que trae el número y chao. No, you have to learn it, ¿ok? Ok, so we have 25 to, come on, to 6. It's 20 to 6. It's quarter to 6. It's 10 to 6. It's 5 to 6. It's six o'clock. Okay? So, bye bye the time. Yes? Okay. Whenever you have. Ahora sí que tienen una ventaja. Me pueden ver hasta en los sueños. You can see me in your dreams. Yeah? Because if you don't remember, please, please. Ay, me voy a ver cómo se da la hora. Ah, genial. Rewind it, play it. Rewind it, play it. It's a big advantage. Okay? Good. <coughs> Espero que haya teacher para mucho, eh? Yes? Okay. Good. Well, pay attention now. Yes, all right. Can we go very quickly to, I want you to go very quickly to pages. 33, 34, 35, 36 and 37 from the class book. Open the class book, please. Yes, open the class book. Then we continue with the projections. <coughs> All right. Are you there? Okay, good. So pay attention now. I want you to put the date on those pages, on those pages, very quickly. Yes, very quickly. Yes, from the class book. And these are the pages. We are going to do in class. Yes, okay. That you have to do with the video class. Because you know, siempre son las páginas que se desarrolla, que desarrollamos acá en clase. Esto no es tarea para que les agarre esta. Ay, no, demasiado hoja, manda. Demasiado hoja, no sé qué hacer. No, me voy a salir nomás de clase con teacher. <laughs> yes, no. Ahora, pienso que muchos están viendo, hay gente que estuvo mirando. Wow, todas esas hojas hablaban en el instituto. Son que hacían una hora y media. Me contó un pajarito. Hay gente que se está enterando recién de todo lo que dábamos en clase, ¿sí? Yes, ok. Bueno, good. Y las tareas de pongo, lo que siempre damos, ¿ok? Si llegaste hasta segundo año, pues ya sabéis el ritmo que tenemos acá, ¿ok? Ready, steady, go. Come on. 33, 34, 35, 36 and 37, ¿ok? Bueno, well, are you ready? Yes, ok. So, I want you to uh, remember, muy bien, cómo estaba en la foto de Sabrina. Hasta ahora tengo dos fotos de alumnos que me mandaron, después el resto de los alumnos no me mandó nada. Yes? Quiero que me manden cómo están trabajando, pónganme en el Facebook del instituto, ¿sí? Ahí voy a ver yo. Yes? Ok? Teacher, estamos trabajando bien, no te preocupes, entendemos todo, ¿sí? Cambio y fuera. Copy. Yes? I want you to... Um, Highlight with the highlighter the speaking parts. Okay? Are you there? So we have to look at the photo and say what is the place in the photo? What is the place in the photo? Yes? Can you say? I want you to talk some minutes about the picture in the photo. Remember, when you describe the picture, You have to describe it, yes, 
in the middle, on the right, on the left, at the top, at the bottom, in the foreground, in the background, yes, okay? Good, so like this, what can you see there? In the middle, yes, on the right, on the left, oh, there's a train station, yes? Do you like train stations? Yes? Do you like bus stations? Yes or no? Why? Yes? Where is it? Where do you think it is? Yes? In the middle of a, a town? Yes? Where? I want you to think about it because this is the, um, the oral part where you have to talk for some minutes. Where do you think it is? Describe the picture. Yes? Okay? Is it clear? Yes? Uh-huh, yes, you are saying that it's in a big city. Yes, can be. Small city for you. Okay, good. Well, it's a railway station train, yes, in Australia. Yes, okay. Yes, and now, yes, we are going to listen to the description, yes, and you are going to see, yes, okay, and listen what happened there, yes, okay. Where is it and everything? Are you there? Ready? Are you there? Exercise two? Yes or no? All right, there we are. Track 29, Unit 3 Opener. Flinders Street train station is in the centre of Melbourne, in Australia. The times of the trains are on these clocks. Every day of the week, over 100,000 people walk under them. It's the most famous place in the city. When people in Melbourne say, meet me under the clocks, everyone knows where this is. Okay, so it's a famous, a famous railway station um, and it's in Melbourne, yes, uh, Australia and it says everybody knows where it is, yes, because it is a, a very uh, well-known railway station, a very famous, yes, and all the people when you want to meet someone, yes, they say like this, meet me under the train, uh, the clocks, pardon. <laughs> Train. Yes? No, under the train, no, under the clocks. <laughs> because if you meet somebody under the train, you will be dead. Yes? Okay? Good. So it is a very, <laughs> it's a very famous uh, railway station. Yes? The station, uh, it is in Australia. Yes? And all the people, when you want to meet somebody, you say, meet me under the clocks because those clocks are very famous yes okay uh, well good no you can laugh yes okay uh, shall we go to exercise three i want you to read the statement there it's complete the time with these words then listen and check okay are you there track 30 Unit 3 opener. 1. It's 6 o'clock. Complete, yes. 2. It's half past 3. 3. It's 25 past 9. 4. It's quarter to 4. It's three minutes past two. Six. It's two minutes to twelve. Okay, are you there? Yes? Okay, number one, o'clock. Number two, half. Number three, past. Number four, two. Number five, minutes. Number six, twelve. Okay, good. So pay attention, you have a uh, number four and it says, what time is it now? Now, here, that I am recording the classes, it's 12 o'clock, midday. And 
what is it? What time is it? You have to say the time that you are watching the video. It's I think it's seven o'clock, quarter past seven. Yeah. What time is your English lesson? Yes. What time is it? From seven to half past eight generally. And what times are on the clocks in the photo? Okay. The first clock. It's quarter to eleven. Second one. It's half past eleven. Third one, yes, it's twenty-five to eleven. It's twelve o'clock. It's twenty past eleven. It's five to eight. Yes, y el otro casi no lo veo. It's half past eleven. Yes, okay. In the picture, let's go very quickly to uh, page thirty-four. Page thirty-four. And page 35, okay? So, pay attention now. I want you to <clears throat> highlight everything. Yes. Okay. Everything must be highlighted. Vocabulary there. The grammar charts. Yes. All right. Good. And now I want you to look at the board again. Yes, look at the board again. <clears throat> and pay attention. All right. So I want you to tell me what you can see in the picture. Yes, there we are. Yes, there you have. Good, good, good. Well, you have different, uh, different cities, uh, different places. Yes, in different cities. Yes, okay. Can you see? Yes, of course. Okay. Well, you have a... Uh, what's this? It's a park. Yes, it's a park. Okay. Um, what adjectives do you have there? Yes, I want you to think about the place they are, the place they are. If you think about a park, what adjectives can you give to a park? Yes, a park can be big, can be small, uh, can be dirty or clean. Uh, a park can be relaxing, yes, because you can go to a park for relaxing, yes, okay. And if you go to a restaurant, yes, think about the different places. And I want you to put next to the place different adjectives. Yes, okay, as regards the picture. For example, a restaurant, a restaurant can be cheap, can be expensive, uh, can be modern, can be popular. Yes, okay. And then we have a church. Yes, can be old, can be quiet. It is quiet, yes, and can be beautiful, yes, okay, and a cinema or a theater can be crowded, can be exact, is exciting, can be cheap, yes, okay, so I want you to think about all these places and I want you to uh, make questions, yes, with these adjectives. Uh, is this restaurant cheap? Is this restaurant expensive? Yes. Is the park clean? Is, yes, it is. No, it isn't. Yes. So I want you to think about this. Yes. Ah, yes. Uh, a park can also be polluted. What's that? Contaminado, yes. Pollution is the noun. And polluted is the adjective. What else? So I want you to think about all the things, yes, noisy, modern, 
popular. Yes, for example, uh, this is modern. Yes, this is modern. Yes, it's a very modern cinema or theater. Yeah, so I want you to think what is there in your city? In my city, there is a church, yes, next to my house, and it is an old church, a quiet church, y ahí ubican los adjetivos, yes, okay? But uh, it isn't very beautiful, yes? So I want you to think about this at home. Think about the adjectives, okay? Well, now let's go to the book again, yes, okay? But I want you to organize like this at home, yes? Think about the picture, describe the picture, and I want you to put many adjectives next to the picture. Yes, okay? Because um, on the next video, you will have to describe the picture. Yes, okay? With different adjectives and everything. Yes, okay? So, that's why we uh, practice using all the units. Yes? And then there is a video. Siempre va a haber así. Va a haber una revision, va a haber un análisis de la revisión y en ese análisis te voy a explicar cómo quiero el video y practicamos cómo va a ser el video. ¿Por qué? Porque en el video, por lo menos hasta que tengamos esta parte de eh, donde se estén mandando las videoclases. ¿Yes? ¿Ok? Bueno. Well. Eh, listen. Va a haber ese video y en ese video te voy a evaluar la parte oral. Pronunciation, fluency, grammar, use of vocabulary. Because this is second year. And uh, it is supposed that you use new vocabulary, not the things from last year. Yes, yeah? so everything, all this aspect will be uh, well, evaluated. Yes, evaluated. Yes, okay? Good, so let's go very quickly to uh, the reading. Yes, okay, page 34. Yes, I want you to do that. Yes, read the article. Yes, and then do exercise one, two, Three and four, yes? Now is the time that you have to pause the video, yes? Pause the video, do the activities, five minutes to do the activity, yes? Like we do in the class, no? <sighs> I will see, think about the future. Ah, I was watching the teacher Ruth's classes. Oh, okay, I have to do one hour later. I have to do the number one, number two, number three, okay. And I will play it. No. Five minutes to do it. Do it. Play it again. Ponete el hora, eh? Ponete el tiempo, el timing. Because if you don't do like this, when you come back, I will realize that you weren't doing it as, I, as you were supposed. Yes? As I was asking. So, organize yourself. Okay? Five minutes to do it and then play it again. I will continue dictating. Yes? Okay? The answers. But you have to do the activities and then, yes, play it again. All right, good. Number one, yes, 3A, 3A. Yes, you have London, Tokyo, Bogota, and Melbourne. Yes, okay. And then you have number two, yes, number one, Melbourne. Number two, London. Number three, Tokyo. Number four, Bogotá, exercise two, yes, one, for the music concerts, yes, why do people go there, yes, number two, Tokyo, why aren't there, why aren't there any cars, yes, two, yes, Jinsa, Three, why do people go there? Shopping, for shopping. Bogota, four, the city center. Five, to work. Six, work streets. Seven, gray shops. Yes, eight to eat. Yes, okay. So I want you to highlight in this uh, text the word pollution. Yes, okay. Traffic. 
no car zones. Yes, this is a zone for uh, where cars are not allowed. Yes, okay. Uh, 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 um. Parks free music concert. Yes, okay. Crowded. In Bogota, polluted. Yes. Yes, expensive. All right, there we are. So let's go to exercise three. Remember to pause the video, do the activities quick, quickly, and then check with the teacher. Okay, with adjective means doesn't cost money, free. Number two. Okay, two. Many people like it, popular. Has lots of people, crowded. Has bad air, polluted. Very good, great. Quiet, the opposite, come on. Noisy. Ugly, beautiful. Yes, okay, are you there? Yes, then we have old, modern, dirty, clean, cheap, expensive, and big, small, okay? So all these adjectives must be underlined, okay? Let's go to exercise four, yes? And I want you to talk, yes? About your city, yes? Is your city uh, a cheap city? Is it an expensive city? Yes, okay, no, it's not a cheap city, yes? Living here is cheap in the way that uh, you don't have it, in my opinion, yes? You can have your opinion, of course. But uh, living in Formosa, it's very quiet, yes? Um, but it's not very uh, cheap, yes? Because the things are expensive, yes? Okay. Um, well, uh, it is not a crowded city. The air is good, it's not polluted. But now, yes, depending on the hours, depending on the hours, it is a bit polluted because of the um, product, yes, uh, they are, um, yes, um, putting in a way, yes, okay, spreading, yes, for the Aedes aegypti, yes, you know, there is a truck, yes, or a pickup that goes, yes, uh, around uh, all the neighborhoods, yes, and spreads, Yes, a kind of, um, I don't know if it is a liquid, yes, or a kind of um, product to kill the Aedes aegypti, yeah, because there is a lot of, um, there are a lot of people who are suffering from um, dengue, yes, so, but it is not polluted, but this, this, this is a big, uh, very strong product, yes, because the smell is very strong, yes, okay. Um, it is not a popular city, yes, um, but it has uh, won an award, a kind of award from, a, a, you know, the, the most beautiful landscape, yes, Formosa, tu lugar en el mundo, yes, okay, so, but it is a beautiful city, yes, because it, it has a lot of green places, yes, okay, um, it is beautiful, yes, but for me, it is uh, very quiet in some aspects, yes. Okay, that's why uh, when you want to have fun or you want uh, to visit shoppings and everything, most of the people or the majority goes to Paraguay, for example, yes, and you visit shoppings there, uh, yes, and do many <coughs> free time activities, okay. Good, I want you to go to, uh, to page 35 very quickly and I want you to do exercise 6, yes, are you there? 6, pause the video, do the activities and then check, yes, stop it, yes, okay, number 7, 6, 7, 8, 6, 7, 8, 
Yes, 9, 10, and 11. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11. Okay, good. Pause the video, yes, and then listen to the answers. Okay, exercise, are you there? Okay, we are in the grammar part. With, yes, exercise 6. Okay, good. You have to choose. Yes, I live, I don't live. Okay, good. Number one. Yes, I live. Number two. They don't have a pet. Number three. We go to work by train. Four. I don't like swimming. Five. Julia and Carlo eat lunch in a restaurant, in that restaurant. And we don't meet our friends at the weekend. Yes, at the weekend. Okay, good. Okay, let's go to exercise um, seven. Are you there? Okay, so are your sentences from exercise six also true for most people in your town or city? So I want you to write, in this time you have to, in this exercise, you have to write sentences showing about your city, things that are true about Formosa. For example, uh, most people have uh, drinks in cafes because now we have Cafe Martinez and all that. Yes, okay? Good. Different cafes, yes? Uh, most people like shopping. Yes, they like shopping. But where do we go shopping? Yes, in the city center. Isadora and many places. Yes, okay, Mama se propaganda gratis. Okay, good. And you go to the little market also because in the little market people say that it is um, cheaper cheaper than be careful with the adjectives with the comparative is cheaper than um in the city center and they say that the city center is more expensive than in the little market the paraguayan market <clears throat> yes they work in offices yes in office yeah, at the office uh, in offices and um, where do they work in formosa in the little market too there are a lot of people working there Yes, okay. Well, um, exercise eight. Yes, we are going to listen. Are you there? Yes, okay. There we are. Track 32. Complete the note. Unit 3A. Do you have a car in London? No, I don't. I go everywhere by bicycle. Really? Where do you live? In the city centre. Is it expensive? Yes, it is. Well, the shops are expensive, but there are lots of free places like art galleries and museums. Sounds great. Do you like art? Yes, I do. And I like the theatre. This city has great theatres. I'm sure. And what do you do? I'm a student at university, and I work in a restaurant at lunch times. It's popular with tourists, so it's crowded every day. So you're very busy. What time do you finish work? At about three o'clock. After work, I go home, or in the summer, I go to the parks. I really like the parks in London. They're beautiful and quiet. I often meet friends there. Okay, well, in the city center, number one, are you there? Yes, expensive, number two, free, number three, great, number four, popular. Yes, because she works in a popular cafe, yes, and it's for students. So it's always, the majority of the time, it's always crowded, okay? And quiet, number six, quiet. She uh, in the free time, in her free times on holidays, I think she said, she is used to going to parks because they are beautiful and they are uh, crowd, they are quiet, yes, quiet. Number 11, are you, uh, yes, we go to 9, okay, number 1, how, 2, leave, 3, like, 4, do, 5, finish, remember to pause the video, do the activities and then play it again, I continue dictating, do, Yes, three, I and three. Okay, good. Eleven. Yes, okay. This was ten. 
Exercise 9. 1B, 9. 1B, 2E, 3D, D, 4A, and 5C. Okay, exercise 11. Are you there? Okay, I want, I want you to highlight the charts. Yes. Do you remember the do you, do you questions? Does she, does he question? Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. We are going to work there. But first of all, we are going to finish. We are going to finish the class doing yes, no question and the age question. But now I want you to highlight the charts very quickly. Yes, okay. What do you do? Where do you live? What time do you have lunch? Yes, highlight it. Do exercise 11. Okay, play, uh, pause the video and then play it again. Okay, I did take the answers. Okay, what do you do? Where do you live? Do you like shopping? What time do you finish work? Do you have a car? Do you eat ca uh, in cafes at lunchtime? What time do you eat dinner? Do you meet your friends after work? Remember, WH question, rising in, falling intonation, and yes, no question. Rise in intonation. Do you like tea or coffee? What time do you get up? What time do you get up? No cantadito para arriba, yes? Okay, what time do you get up? Falling. Do you like coffee? Rising intonation, yes? Okay, intonation. Intonation is very important when you are making questions, okay? Good. Uh, let's go very quickly to page 35 and 36. Yeah, 36, the last one, okay? So you have uh, places of work, yes? Okay, you have. Uh, where does an accountant work? Yes, is there anybody that uh, is an accountant in your family? I think Connie said the other day that her father is an accountant. Yes, okay? Uh-huh, all right. Mr. Rizzo Patron is an accountant, I think. Is there anybody that is a psychologist there? Huh? Yes. I think uh, Connie's mother is a psychologist. He's a famous psychologist. Okay. Is there is there anyone that is a pilot in your ha in your house? Ah, my I have a friend, a girl. Yes, her name is Carla, and she is a pilot. Yes. Okay. She's a pilot in Argentina's Argentina. Okay. And uh, is there anybody that is a sailor? I don't know. Uh, Peppa Peppa's grandfather is a sailor. But there is a sailor there in that uh, cartoon, yes, okay? Uh, Grandpa Pig? I don't know, I don't remember. Oh, no, 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 no. Yes, it's the dog. There is a dog that is the, uh, a, sail a sailor, yes? Okay, good. Uh, but I don't remember the name, yes? A sail assistant, sales assistant, a teacher. Do you know anybody that is a teacher? A teacher rude and many teachers that you have at school. A waiter? Yes, a waiter. Where does a wa where does a waiter work? He works. He or she works in a restaurant. Okay. Um, well, I want you to think about uh, all the jobs. Yes, that you know. Yes. Okay. Uh, a dentist. Is there anybody that is a dentist? A mother that I know. Um, Lucas. Is your mother a dentist? Where does she work? Where does she work? Yes, in an office, on a boat, on a plane, in a hospital, yes, okay, in a classroom. So I want you to think about this and organize your ideas. This is the question. Where does a teacher work? Repeat. Where does a teacher work? Repeat. She or he works in a classroom. Repetition at home. Repeat it, okay? This is very easy for you, okay? So I want you to highlight the professions there. Yes, okay, and match it, yes, with the places they work, yes, we are going to uh, do that, we are going to do the listening, two and three, and we are going to finish, yes, with some questions, yes, yes, no questions, and WH questions, there we go, all right, exercise one, are you there? An accountant, two, a sailor, three, a pilot, four, a doctor, five, a waiter, six, a teacher, seven, a sale at sales assistant. Yes, number two. Are you there? Be prepared for the listening. Remember to read the statement. 
Huh? Reading the statement is very important because you know you have to know what Track 33. All right? Unit 3B. There we are. One. Beverly Goodman is a marine archaeologist and she works for National Geographic. She has an office, but she doesn't work there very often. She usually works on her boat in the Mediterranean and looks for objects from the past under the sea. 2. Roger Mason is 17. It's his last year at school and he has exams soon. Next year, he wants to travel around the world. So at the weekend, he works in a shop for extra money. Mm -hmm. 3. James Harding is a tour guide in London. He doesn't live in London, but he takes tourists around the city centre. James speaks English, French and Japanese. So he works with tourists from France and Japan. Okay, so that's very interesting, yes, because you can see uh, many professions and many people that work because they like, yeah, because it's a uh, free time activity, because they want to uh, have some extra money, yes, so, yes, uh, it's very interesting, yes, number, uh, let's go to the listening, yes, okay, number two, yes, one B, two C, three A. And exercise three, let's go there. An archaeologist, number two, under the sea, number three, at school, number four, the world, number five, at the weekend, number six, tour guide. Yes, uh, one of the main import, main things uh, when, you are, when you are studying uh, for being a tourist, a tour guide, yes, in the touristic part, I mean, uh, is to know different languages, not only two languages, but from two onwards, yes, okay, uh, fra uh, you know, Spanish, English, French, yes, okay, Chinese, and mm, the more uh, languages you know is better, yes, okay, because you can communicate with different kind of people, yes, okay, so languages are very important, yes, okay, you are a bilingual person, Yes, it could be very important for your job in the future, for your own life. Yes, life. Okay, uh, tour, gu tour guide three, France and Japan. Yes, number four. Are you there? No, number four is for next class. Yes, okay. Okay, shut your books. Yes, and now, yes, you can relax, but you are going to work with me because we are going to revise some uh, questions. Yes, yes, no questions in present simple. Well, so, all the yes, no questions, if this is simple, start with do or thus. And you can ask many, as many questions as you want with do or thus. Okay, hacemos un ping pong rapidito. Yes, I want you to ask three questions very quickly. I will do three. Yes, I will make three questions and then upon you do it three. Do three. Okay, but not do you like, because do you like is for starters. Yes, okay? So I want you to ask many questions. Do you, as regards cities, do you like your city? Do you think Formosa is a very nice place to live? Ya voy dos, eh? Faltan tres. Second year questions, okay? Uh, one missing. Do you like Formosa? Do you think Formosa, do you consider Formosa is a very nice place to live? Do you uh, think Formosa is expensive? Yes, okay? Yes, okay. Do you like living? Do you like living? Do you enjoy living? Okay, ING, después de like, para preguntar si te gusta, second grade. Okay, I finish with that. Does, does, um, does your city have restaurants? Yes, a lot of restaurants. Uh, does uh, your best friend like living in Formosa? Yes. Um, does uh, your teacher like living in Formosa? Yes. 
Does Formosa um, belong to the most beautiful places in the world? Yes, so I want you to make a question with Duoda, but as regard this topic, yes, topic, the cities, okay? Well, let's go to WH question in present. Okay, can you tell me some WH, WH questions, okay? What? Good. Where? Dicto desde casa que yo escucho aquí, eh? Where? When? All right. What? When? Where? ¿A uh, qué hora? What time? Yes, what time? Okay. Uh, ¿Qué nos falta, chicos? What, where, when, what time, uh, how often? Yes, muy bien, Agustín. ¿Ves? Me dicto eso, me parece. O Ramírez fue. Bueno, okay. O Cata. O Connie. O Marcili. O Gali. Okay. What, where, when, o Luana. Yes. O Pilar. And everything. Okay, everybody. What time, how often. Who? Atención, who aparte, eh? Ok. Well, comenzamos. Chu, 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 chu. Orale, ok? But concentrate with W. Come on. Auxiliary plus subject plus complement. Ok? Who, ojo, voy a conjugar con la S. Eh? Yes. O, who más, doble E más, auxiliar. Auxiliary verb plus subject plus complement. Okay? Well, ready? Hacemos two, 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 and the class finishes. Okay? So, what do you do in Formosa at the weekend? What do you play in Formosa at the weekend? Yes? Where? Where do you go shopping in Formosa? Come on. Where? Where can you uh, sleep in Formosa? Where can you sleep in Formosa if you are a tourist? Yes? Two, two, two. When? Estoy ganando, eh? When? Uh, when do you go to the church in Formosa? When? When do you uh, have free time in Formosa? Auxiliar. Subject and verb. Si no le pones esto, tu question está mal, ¿ok? Ojo porque esto voy a pedir en el próximo video, ¿eh? Yes, no question, como un ping pong de yes, no question, pero no tres horas, sino quickly, quickly, con timing. Yes, what time? Ya dije con what time? What time uh, can you uh, go to the church in Formosa? What time um, can you go shopping in Formosa? How often, how often... Do you have free time in Formosa? How often do you uh, visit the riverside, the famous riverside in Formosa? Who? Who? Um, atención. Con who el verbo voy a preguntar quién. Who visits Formosa in winter? Yes. Who? Um, oh, I'm thinking. Yes. Who goes shopping in Formosa, yes, at the weekend? And then, who with? Acá podemos poner un with. Who do you go to the riverside with in Formosa? Who do you visit uh, the city? Who do you go, yes, to the city center with? Yes, entonces poner with al final. Acordate que era con quién y si va a respetar esto. Who do you go? Yes, to the city center with. Con quién vas al, sit, al, al centro. Yes, okay. Well, so I leave you this. Remember, if you don't do it, yes, you will be dead. So do the two, 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 yes, no question, and the two, 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 WH questions, okay? Well, and pay attention to this, yes, okay? Bye bye. See you next class. Bye-bye, second year. Happy weekend.